Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. This is episode 16. Last time we continued to go through Denerim, stealing from almost everybody in sight, uh, while also arriving at Brother Genitivi's home and seeing that Waylon had been murdered and replaced and they were trying to fr throw us off the trail uh, of uh, Genitivi on his uh, journey for the Urn of Sacred Ashes. We still find ourselves in Denerim because Slim Coldry is definitely hooking us up with uh, some thieving quests, and it's great. Uh, Alistair had a not so great meeting with Goldana, did not meet his expectations, which uh, is kind of realistic when you're meeting a family member for the first time when you're a grown up. Never know how that's going to go. Uh, Liliana finally got some new clothes, so now she's like a goddamn Amazonian Wonder Woman looking ass uh, Xena warrior princess, but also as a bard archer rogue, which is cool. We're going to rock with her for a while. Um, and interestingly enough, with um, my character at the very least, because we are able to... Um, learn a specialization at one point because we've got a specialization point we just need to find out who can sort of teach us uh Lelian is the bard um and as we've noticed when we've spoken to our characters like can you teach me to be a shapeshifter can you teach anyone to be a templar can you teach anyone to do this so it's like sort of our companions um that i'm seeing for, like that we're able to talk to and learn about these um specializations from them and I'm thinking with uh, my character, um, I was initially thinking assassin bard type deal, but if Lilian has already got the bard section covered and I'm probably going to use her in my party, uh, I will. I might go assassin because uh, I'm probably not going to use Zev in my party anywhere near as much. But we'll also have a look once I get into my next level up screen um, and we'll we'll see, but I reckon that we'll go for an assassin, which would be quite cool. Warden, they're turning the market upside down to find the burglar who bested all hell, but no one's the wiser. In regards to our other business, so you've struck again, eh? Bandarby will be foaming at the mouth. I bet all of those rich louts will be afraid to go out. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have anything else handy. Oh, we're done. I think we're done. I'm lining something up. The bleeding perfect mark. It'll be your greatest crime yet. But so far, the opportunity hasn't presented itself. If I find a way, I'll let you know. Cool. Maybe do something else in the city. Get a drink, visit a brothel, uh, whatever Grey Wardens do to pass the time. Cool. So when we revisit here, we'll probably have some more stuff to do, but that's great. So for now, um, looks like we're looks like we're done. So now it's just a matter of being able to sell that stuff uh, at some point. Um, can I do this stuff yet? Back alley justice? Because this is the dump site for solving problems. We still need another corpse. I feel like what we'll do is we'll leave Denerim because it's a city of glitches and bugs and we'll probably choose a new location to go to. I'm thinking Sulcher's Pass. Uh, some more uh, DLC. So we'll travel to Soldier's uh, Pass. And that way we can do another DLC thing. Then, then, we'll, then we'll see. Maybe the Brasilian Forest as well. Like, we'll see. But we know that Denerim is going to open up uh, at another point in time because there's a couple of gates that are closed to us right now. Um, also, I... Ah, oh, ah. Oh. There you go. Uh, just open up the big old map and then I can actually see everything. So this is where we currently are. Okay, Denerim is massive, right? Fort Draken, the Royal Palace, Isle of Denerim's estate. Uh, and these are the rundown back streets in the dark alley and the dirty back alley where we got to do quests. There's the pearl and the alienage. Okay, we're only in one small section of it. Cool. Um, I should probably check that more often, shouldn't I? If I, that would have been very handy if I checked that last episode. Um, we've got a civil war taking place in the village of Haven that has been marked in our map. Now that is main quest related, the village of Haven. Cool. I like that we can. I like that we can do that. Let's get it. Let's get out of here. 
And we're going to head to the party camp first and foremost, after denim has been completed. Uh, now, we need to get, uh, assumedly, our bonus points up, our affection, our approval with certain characters up um, before they could probably teach us some things. So I think this is where those gifts are going to come in handy if I like just need to be like, don't think negatively of me, here's a bunch of gifts. Uh, we'll see. Um, <laughs> I gotta see where Zev is in here. Um, I don't know if we... It hasn't unlocked a codex entry where I think we don't know what he actually likes. But I think you could just maybe give him some gifts and then he'll be happy. Or I could go for those lovely little uh, feast day, whatever they're called, gifts, just to get his approval meter up. And then he could teach me the ways of the assassin, considering I might not use him in my party so much to get that approval up. Anything I can do. I got a lot of stuff that I could sell, which is good. I'm gonna sell this Chantry robe because we're not gonna use that. But in terms of gifts, of which there are many in here, well, Canari prayers for the dead would probably be for Sten. Yes, the words are in a strange spidery script, but the fine etchings demonstrate a clear respect for the departed. I'm not going to get Sten's approval with the way that my character works in this game at all. So, uh, <laughs> give me that. <laughs> I'm going to get his approval with gifts. Sometimes there are people in this world that you just can't please with your personality and you must buy them gifts. <laughs> you must buy their friendship. Oh, and even Brandy actually might be good for, for Zev. Pulling the stopper from the bottle reveals hints of exotic passion fruit. This alcohol content is low by local standards, just enough to keep the conversation flowing, as the Antivans say. Yeah, it is for Zev. All right, cool. That's a good gift for him. The protective cone. Oh my God, a cone for the dog. A pearly white cone of unknown material attached to a dog collar. It looks like it would be uncomfortable to wear. How dare I do that? Cat lady's hobble stick. Is Wynn a cat lady? She an old cat lady? Chastity belt? Who would like who would get the chastity belt? This iron girdle looks distinctly uncomfortable. A sturdy lock keeps the loins secure. Would Sten want the chastity belt? Alistair? He's a virgin. <laughs> he wants to get laid though. Who the chastity belt belongs to? Oh, I have to peek. Okay, the chastity belt is for Zen too. Zev, sorry. Interesting. I guess at the very least, if we're out of like wanting to give like select gifts to like particular people, like the loot, I reckon would go to Leliana. The stick would obviously go to Win. The Grey Warden hand puppet, actually. I don't know who would want the Grey Warden hand puppet. The Alistair doll would probably go to Morrigan. <laughs> Beard flask, fashioned from Nug stomach. This fascinating dwarven device is like a loose fitting muzzle that sits beneath the beard and keeps the drinker's alcohol accessible even after he loses feelings in his arms. Well, I can't give a gift to myself, so maybe there'll be a dwarven companion at some point. A pet rock. Amulet of Memories. God, they're so interesting. I'm not going to look at them because I don't want to spoil myself because they're, they're for every single companion in the game. So I, I don't need to look uh, too far out of this. Oh, and look, also you can buy, you know, if you want to be a ranger or a template, you can buy the manuals, but I know that you can also learn them from people too. Um, let's see how much this changes our approval meters. I don't even have to talk to them, do I? I just give it to them. So... Let's have a look. Actually, this is a good way to tell without getting spoilers, is you could just buy all of the gifts and then highlight the character in the inventory and then you can see. And then you don't have to check the inventory to spoil potential future companions. I am impressed. Whoa! My thanks. Okay, so plus 50 and that's approval 49 and it's still neutral. Crazy. Oh, hang on. Now it's still in my inventory. Use. Sten can recite a traditional Canari prayer. Oh, does that go in like the quick thing? Because I can't use it right now. Maybe I can use it in the battlefield. Interesting. Okay. This means I'm probably going to give one of these to Zev. 
Never mind. Oh, it's got the key to his belt. This everyone looks uncomfortable. Perhaps just let it move a bit more freely. That's a negative gift. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Would he be appreciative? Maybe he'd be appreciative of it. New ability inspired minor strength. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to have to reload a save because I just fucked it even harder. <laughs> For Zip. Oh, that's funny. He's hostile. He's hostile. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I actually want to. How does he interact with me if he's hostile? I suppose you wish something. Oh, he's, he's mad. I'm still thinking about it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna reload. <laughs> don't put uh, don't put a seven a chastity belt. No one wants to be in there. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe he need, maybe he needs a break. Maybe he fucking too many people. Maybe he needs some forced restriction. <laughs> it didn't. I thought that there was like separate sections for like positive and negative belt uh, gifts. Silly me. I am impressed. All right. My thanks. <laughs> Here, take the brandy. I shall treasure it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> and now if we use it, Zevran can imbibe brandy to become more suave. So they actually become things that you can use. I like that there's a secondary items, like the key to the belt is so funny. So Sten now has, uh, yeah, so they've got some skills now and an update to their codex. Zevran shows an affinity for the finer things in life, hardly surprising for an Antivan crow, but his appreciation can be more poetic than he lets on. A simple bar of refined silver or gold, uh, uncomplicated by a craftsman's hammer, is elegantly valuable, okay? And Sten has an eye for paintings. He's an art connoisseur. I have a lot of paintings. That might seem out of character, but it's actually an extension of Canari discipline. He respects an artist for careful composition, a skill that is as much about where the brushstroke stops as where it begins. Okay. I've a question, if I may. Yes? Is it because I bought your loyalty with a gift? Go ahead. Well, here's the thing. I swore an oath to serve you, yes? And I understand the quest you're on, and this is all very fine and well. My question pertains to what you intend to do with me once this business is over with, as a point of curiosity. What I like about this is there are going to be characters in a... This is a realistic part of the Bioware RPG experience, is there are going to be characters you don't use as much. And what I like about these gifts being able to use, uh, just boost these underutilized characters up with their approval is I'll be able to do like companion quests and not miss out on their content and spend some time with them in those quests, you know? So that is a cool way to do it. And also sometimes when you want something, you got to pay for it. And I would like to be an assassin. So it works. Does your oath expire then? Is this after I ravish you in celebration? Oh my God. Is that a, is that romance? I'm going to rom I'm going to ravish Zevran. I'm going to ravish you, boy. Not precisely. I said I would serve you until you saw fit to release me. One simply assumes that once your Grey Warden business is finished, you would have no need of an assassin to follow you about. Am I wrong? I could always use a friend. There's always a use or two for a handsome elf, yet we <laughs> there's flirting options with this guy. Love it. A dwarf and an elf. Friends. Or lovers. I will always need a servant. Oh my god. Um. I could always use a friend. Indeed. Friend zoned. I might even be glad to call myself such, come to think of it. It is good to know what my options might be, but that is for another time. For now, we have much to do, yes? Friend zoned. What say you? Uh, can you teach me to be an assassin? Hmm. I suppose the crows are already furious, yes? What harm is another tweak to their nose? If you wish to be trained in the basics of an assassin, I can certainly show you. Or anyone else who is also a rogue. It shall be fun. I will make it fun. I promise. Nice. Now here's another thing that's really interesting is I wonder if we're able to still unlock the assassin specialization tree through Master Ignacio because he's hired us to do some assassination uh, missions as well. 
So potentially if we talk to him, he could give us that specialization. So there might be multiple ways to get it, like reading books, companions, and other characters in the world. Um, now, yes. Okay, so I can do level up and then I can pick my specialization. So assassin has been unlocked. So I'm thinking because Liliana is a bard, I will go for maybe like an assassin duelist because this one gives me plus two dex and a plus one damage to hit. Duelists are deadly combatants who prefer to fight in light armors and strike with light but precise attacks. Experienced duelists have pre preternatural reflexes that allow them to evade their opponent's clumsy blows as well as strike with remarkable position, uh, precision. So I can be like an assassin and then when they face me, I can also duel with them. Rangers have an affinity for open country and wilderness, but as independent scouts and militia, they are opportunists, not stewards of nature. They exploit every advantage of their environment and can lure wild beasts to attack their foes. That's cool, but I don't think that's my character, you know? And if Liliana wasn't a bard, I would probably be a bard assassin because that combination sounds absolutely fucking cool as fuck. And I will probably have Liliana be like a bard ranger, you know? And she's like singing songs and summoning beasts, you know? But we're gonna pick assassin. So we get plus two dex and a 2.5% critical chance. The assassin finds any notion of fairness, a quaint ideal that is no place in combat. Poisons are their weapon of choice, as are crippling strikes that inflict persistent wounds on their foes. As killers, assassins are a marvel of stealth and efficiency. So that is what we will go with. Um, and I, yes, I have an assassin skill tree now. The Mark of Death. The Assassin marks a target, revealing weaknesses that others can exploit. All attacks against a marked target deal additional damage. So I have to choose this stuff when I when I level up as well. Exploit weakness. A keen eye and a killer instinct help the Assassin exploit a target's weak points. During a successful backstab, the Assassin gains additional damage based on cunning. Oh, and my cunning is high, and this is a passive ability. That's gonna be good. Lacerate. When a backstab deals enough damage, the assassin's foe is riddled with bleeding wounds and inflict additional damage for a short time. I'm going to be an absolute beast when I get these unlocked. The assassin thrives on the moment of death. Stamina is partially restored whenever the assassin fells an opponent with a backstab. That is so exciting. All right. So we got our specialization through Zev by, like, you know, warming up to him. Be like, hello. He's a bit of alcohol. Can you teach me to be an assassin? That is a very realistic interaction, I reckon. What say you? By all means. And then we can talk to him too, you know, because we've got his warmth up a bit. And why not? There are many things to enjoy about being a crow in Antiva. You are respected, you are feared, the authorities go out of their way to overlook your trespasses, even the rewards are nothing to turn your nose up at. As for the killing part, well, some people simply need assassinating. Or do you disagree? And now I'm just thinking of, oh my god, imagine having Liliana, Zev, and my character in a party together, just all stealthy, backstabbing assassins. We'll just run into an encounter and just, yeah, just kill everyone. That would be a very interesting uh, journey to take. That would be kind of fun. You've never killed an innocent? Now there is an interesting word, innocent. How many men do you know who can claim to be truly innocent? But if you're talking generalities such as children and relatives and bystanders and such, never on purpose, but it happens. It's unfortunate, but death comes to us all. If not me, then some wasting disease or a fall down the stairs or at the hands of a darkspawn. It's all relative in the end. It is unfortunate. It's a very practical attitude, but that does sound like an excuse. You gotta be more careful, Seth. Death happens, as we like to say. And when I get paid for it, death happens more often. As far as enjoying the act of killing itself, why not? There is a certain artistry to the deed. The pleasure of sinking your blade into their flesh and knowing that their life is in your hands. Wonderful. Spoken like a true serial killer, Zev. <laughs> Just, thank you. I take no pleasure in killing it. I do it for the necessity of the realm. I do it to protect those who I love. 
It is not pleasure, per se. Nothing sexual. It is more a sense of satisfaction, a feeling of power. Does that make sense? No matter. There are many things I did not enjoy about being a crow, of course. Having no choice, being treated as an expendable commodity, the rules, oh, so many rules. But simply being an assassin, I like it just fine. I will continue to do it if I can, even if I am not a crow. Honestly, could you picture me doing something else? And some elf like you? Yeah, there's a lot of flirting opportunities with Zev. <laughs> Why not? You can do whatever you like. Whereas I am content merely doing what I happen to be good at. It's a talent that not many come by, honestly. I don't see why I need not pursue it. Of course, all these thoughts are moot. Chances are still good that you and I will perish, eaten by darkspawn or slain by the crows at some point. Very gruesomely, I imagine. But it is pleasant enough to chat about. Come, let's move on while our boots still have some wear in them. Okay. Nice. What say you? By all means. Tell me a little about Antiva. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. <laughs> and it has assassins. Don't you want to go back? <sighs> it's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from some place comparable? Um, I'm not from any glittering gem. I am from Orzammar, of course. <laughs> my mother was better than any gem. I'm from Orzammar, of course. Ah, yes, the city of lava and stone. It too is beautiful, in its way. Sad that it will never see sunlight or smell the salt of the ocean, however. Hmm, you know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. Is that some kind of euphemism? <laughs> it may as well be, but not this once, no. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. You sound like you've been away from home forever. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? Hm. Asked you about Antiva, not your leather fetish. Your home is still theirs, Evren. True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a handsome Grey Warden? A man who then spares my life. I could not. Ah, uh, and now he and now he floats back. <laughs> I am sorry, Sev, but you see that Goth GF over there? You see Morrigan, Witch of the Wilds over there. Is that supposed to be flattery? Hmm, perhaps that was a poor choice of words. Uh, true, though it is. Do you object? You're wasting your time, that's all. Uh, I'm not sure that that's the route I would take, were I to continue old habits, but as you wish. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiva. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Cool. And that's like a couple of lines of dialogue, like I said I would. Like when we go to the party camp, we talk to people, we'll like go through a couple of lines of dialogue each time with them and not just like go through all of it. Uh, so now that we've got Sten's warmth up, he might actually talk to us. You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Callow? You thought I was callow? You sound surprised. 
You must have heard this before. You'll get over it. Eventually. So will you tell me now why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. Exactly what happened? I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the darkspawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. What happened to the other canary? I am told no others survived. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead, nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers, and my sword was gone from my hand. What did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Did the farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. Did you believe them? I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. What? I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to you, but you killed them anyway. Okay. You panicked over a lost blade? That sword was made for my hand alone. True. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Like, that's fair. I can respect that. That makes so much sense. But, like, I'm gonna just kill these farmers real quick. If you're that prone to panic, maybe you did desert. That's rude. Couldn't you search for it? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Okay. Where did you fight the Darkspawn? Near Lake Callanhad. Don't worry, we'll find it. Maybe this will be a companion mission. Find Sten's sword. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. The Sword of the Beresad. Cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of this. He was sent with a small group of Canari soldiers to investigate the Blight and report back. Outside Lothering, they were ambushed by Darkspawn. They fought off the attack, but only Sten survived. Farmers found him dying and took him in, but when he awoke, alone and unarmed, he panicked, killing the entire family. Realizing he had sacrificed his honor, Sten waited for the villagers to come and surrendered, expecting death. Wild. And, uh... More skill, more inspired. Locate Sten's sword. Sten revealed to you the reason he went berserk and killed the farmers. He worked without his sword. The Beresad value their swords highly and do not part with them until death. The thought that his sword might be lost drove Sten into a mindless rage. You told Sten that you would try to track down his sword. Okay, I can fuck with that. I can, it makes sense. I understand. But goddamn, those poor farmers. <laughs> okay. Well, we got a companion quest for Sten. Not one for Zev yet though. What say you? Unless we discuss something personal, of which I will save first. What say you? Oh, this should be good. What would you like to discuss? <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay, that's all good. Um, I'm going to sell some stuff, do some inventory management, then we're going to leave the party camp, and we're going to choose our next destination. Okay, I have sold things and put stuff in storage and gone through characters gear for what I have and what I can afford at the moment and uh, I decided that we had enough money so we bought the blood dragon set and I already had the plate in my storage chest so Sten's rocking that 38 strength requirement blood dragon gear if I choose to use him he's gonna be an, a lovely force to be reckoned with which will be great um, I put Gregor's shield that we stole from him in the Circle Tower on Alistair, so he's rocking that bad boy. Look at that blade that Alistair's got, by the way. Like, it's got a serrated edge. It's crazy. Uh, we're looking, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Sold a bunch of stuff, outfitted our characters, uh, put a lot of questionable stuff still in storage, because I'm not sure what to do with it yet. Uh, and we're going to, we're going to move on.
So I think one of the, the best choices for us at the moment in terms of um, like locations where we should go is Soldier's Pass, but we'll see what we can find along the way as well because we picked up some side quests that we can do. Um, I'm always keen to see what Sten will be like. Yes. Yes. So I will bring Sten. Um, Indeed. Let's let's go do some side questing stuff, right? So I'm going to bring Sten and Leliana with us, and then I'm going to bring Win as well. Yes. So she can heal us, at the very least, because uh, we've got a uh, civil war <laughs> that we can go and check out. Apparently, um, shall we go and? Have a look at the Civil War, I think so. Maybe we should go to the Soldier's Peak first, because that's on the way from Denerim. So we'll go back to Soldier's Peak. We'll see if uh, Levi's done anything with the place. Let's see if he's done anything with the place. It does... Oh, it does look a little... It does look a little cleaned up. And there he is on the outside. Oh, we've got the Dryden family. They have rocked up. So enough time has passed. <gasps> They've got a little dog. A little dog. Great. Um, cause we are going to, there's a little, you know, the concoction of the, the stuff that we need to go and drink as well. Uh, party storage chest. Okay. This DLC adds a party storage chest as well. Well, I'm glad that I had it when I did anyway. I, I no regrets. Another party storage chest. Welcome back, Warden. As you can see, we've been busy. Clean the place up a bit. Even my brother Mikhail came out of hiding. Never will you find a finer smith. Also, got some goods stored here that might interest you. Buy them now before my cousins move it all someplace else. Okay. Did you tell your family about Sophia? I thought about it, but I figured that it's not a bad thing to believe that you come from a line of lions, even if the truth is a touch more complicated. Our family's belief that we were wronged, it gave us strength to make something of ourselves. What do you think of Sophia? King Arlen sounded like a right nasty piece of work. Sophia was branded a traitor. She consorted with blood mages. But in spite of it all, I think she was a hero. The keep looks a lot different. We've a big family. When you were away, we all pitched in. Hard to believe there were undead, demons and worse around here, right? Any trouble with Avernus? I've not a peep from him. Seems to like keeping to himself. But I'll keep telling the children to stay away from the tower. I'd like to see your wares. Certainly. All right, what's, what's, he, what's he carrying? Just the one injury kit? Okay. Just the one injury kit. Some soul rot bombs, freeze bombs, recipes. I need more toxin extract every time I see one. <laughs> I'm like, give it here. A Grand Master Frost Room for plus five cold damage. Grand Master, okay. And a manual for a Spirit Healer to develop their nurturing sides. Interesting, okay. Um, tempted to get the healing stuff, but also Wynn is doing a great job being the group healer, so that's okay. And a party storage chest, that is quite good. Cannot pet the dog, zero out of 10. Ravens. And Levi's nephew. Once the Dryden's were strong, we will be again one day. Okay. I like that it highlights the ravens and the deer. <laughs> it's like there are people here, and a dog, and an owl, and random people. So blacksmith, eh? You, you're the warden. My family owes you. Any weapons I make, I will sell you for a discount. Nice. You're Levi's brother. Not much of a family resemblance. I have a family full of traders living a soft life. Getting fat. I chose to learn the way of metal and stone. It keeps me strong. You're a weaponsmith, then. Indeed. I have spent my life studying steel, dragon bone, and more. I learned all I could in human lands, and exiled dwarves taught me more. Give me the finest metals and materials, and I can make wonders for you. Can I see your wares? All right, what you got for us? Let's have a look. Ooh, Grey Warden Helmet out of Dragonbone. 38 strength, though. The most basic protection for a heavy warrior of the Grey Wardens and a representative of their unique profile on the battlefield, always recognizable at the head of a charge. Soldier's gear. 
of different materials. So dragon bone, that's cool. So dragon bone is like the top tier one would be wanting. Heavy chainmail gloves. And then we go splint mail, which is still in dragon bone. Now, in terms of this, these boots, I think we might get some boots because Wynn does need a pair of boots. So some leather boots inscribed it does give us some armor, but 18 strength. Oh, I'm not sure what Wynn's actual uh, strength is. It's in red, which means she cannot wield it, correct? So any of these will not be good for her right now. <laughs> she doesn't even have 17 strength. That is unfortunate. I'm going to just have to get some random pair of boots and we'll see. There's some good stuff here that I'll probably look into for other characters. I think I might be able to benefit from some of this, to be honest with you. Um, like this. Because I do have 20 strength and that is some more armor and that is light armor too. Splint Mail's medium, so I want to aim for having some light armor. Warden, Recruit Shield, Grey Warden Shields, Heavy Metal Shield. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking for my character, I'm going to get us, I'm going to buy a Drake skin, buy some studded leather armor. That'd be good for my dwarf. Um, in terms of the boots that we've got, I think we'll just keep the Lion's Paw one on because it does give us some couple of bonuses and there isn't much of a change in armor, to be honest with you. Um, and then with our leather gloves, again, not a huge difference, kind of, but not really, but it, we, we are rocking a 5% critical backstab damage. So I'll keep that. And then... Yeah, I'll just keep what we got, but a new chest piece will be good for me. Thank you, sir, for the new chest piece for me. But yeah, win, win rocking no boots. No boots right now. I mean, we could put you in some studded leather armor if you want. <laughs> but then losing willpower and magic and defense, you know. 14 strength, because all of the stats are in willpower and magic. <laughs> there you go. That's a that's a neat looking neat looking piece of gear. There you go. So that's blacksmith. And they've cleaned up the place. I'm keen to see what it looks like on the inside then. Oh. I can't go in. Is there a no is there a way in? Oh shit! Can I not go check out? Oh no! Oh, oh shit! Am I not able to get back in? Far out. Okay. Well, we missed out on drinking that uh, concoction then. That gave us access to those blood skills, which was pretty cool. Um, if you can remember, the, we only actually took the risk to drink it when we reloaded a save, just to check out a different outcome interesting that we can't go back in there to check on to even like check on Avernus or anything that surprises me a little bit I would have thought that we'd be able to go back in there because he said that if there was anything for us he would let us know maybe something will change and we'll be able to go back inside but it looks like right now we can't let's go travel to this civil war then see what happens Straight into a fight with an abomination. All right, I'm keen to see Sten go for it. And uh, we're gonna have uh, our archer, Leliana, do some shit too. She's gonna shoot at him. Oh, we're gonna make quick work of this abomination, baby. Nice. Feldspar Ring. A silver band with a finely cut Feldspar gem. The gem is rather common, but the setting is crafted with care. That's cool. I I do quite like that. Well, that was nice. Oh, Reynold, right. That was one of our that's one of our quests. Reynolds journal. Reynolds plea. 
Should you find this note, I beg you, please complete my task. I am Reynold, master mage and mentor to the misguided fool Hashia. It seems that my young apprentice got mixed up in magic unmentionable, for which I pledged to pursue him to the ends of the world. If you are reading this, then my apprentice caught up to me and choked me from my last breath. I beg you to delve into this ancient elven forest and end the threat of the abomination my beloved apprentice has become. Should you do this, then I beg you, Keep the feldspar ring you find on my apprentice's finger as a token of my thanks, and may you never know profound failure such as I, such as that I feel as I write this. Damn. You found Reynolds' body along with the abomination that killed him. Reynolds' journal tells the tale of his last days. Return to the collective for your reward. Alright. Sten just really smacked that abomination silly, didn't he? Even Liliana given some shots. I'm keen to see them see them in action. Is off ben land. We won't bend needle again. Logain is the regent. He demands you. We're not Orlesian lick spittles. We owe no man our allegiance. Leave! Take their lands by force, men. Regent's orders. Oh shit, okay, we helping out. So we're taking out Logain's soldiers and we want to protect the Banorn soldiers. Alright. <laughs> Fuck him up. You should be so bad. Save this dude's life. Real quick. Oh! <gasps> I took his head off. I was like, save that dude's life real quick. <laughs> You've disrupted Lurkane's forces and no doubt hampered his plans. Return to the Chantry board to report this tragic loss. We showed those Lurkane upstarts. Mate. We showed those Lurkane upstarts. I cut that dude's head off. Incredible move. I shall do it. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We saved the Banner One Knight. He lives. Just disrupt a civil war real quick. Now, Ban Lorenz lands is on the way. The Brazilian outskirts are over that way. Hmm. But Solcher's Pass is here. The route is more treacherous than Gurlin's Pass to the north. Solcher's Pass can shave more than two days' travel off the journey to Olé. Now, I think Solcher's Pass is probably the good the good move for us to, to do, I think. Now, if we go back to the Mages Collective anywhere, I think we can collect the... I think we can collect the reward. So if we quickly just pop into the Kalanhad docks on the way through, we should be able to check out the Mages Collective here and get paid. Ooh, Shady Thug and Samael the Deserter is here too. Oh, right, because we were told to go to this inn by the fake Waylon as well. Isn't that interesting? Point? We could all be figments of someone else's imagination. Just players in a play. Oh. Nope. Oh. Silent talking. For whose amusement? Some being of cosmic. We're in a game. <laughs> it's a, we're in someone else's dream. Cosmic power. What? You're serious? They thought of all this grit, all the war. They bloody thought of boils. I got a boil the size of your nose on my big toe, and some beings are enjoying this. <laughs> Disturbed, sick bastards, if you ask me. Ahem. I still maintain their more enlightened than that if i ever come across one of them i'll give them a what for why does that feel meta it feels like meta commentary on like the audience and the world that has been dreamed up for them a little something extra for friendship thank you level up for win good to see you again so yeah win has got spirit healers a specialization already which is cool should i i feel like Wind deserves a, a few more strength points just to wield some clothes at some point. So I'm going to take that up to 17 so we can get her some boots at the very least. And then she got full tactics. Wind can do stealing, but no point in doing that. Uh, Morrigan already has max herbalism.
my character is going to go into trap making, I think. And respecking characters is not off the table yet either. I will see how I feel. I might go for combat training, though. I feel like that's just going to be a good idea. Because it'll allow for some... Um, it'll, it'll still be good for her, too. I'm thinking we'll rock with... Oh, the caster places a protective ward on an ally that automatically restores health when the ally falls close to death. That's cool, actually. Yeah, we're going to get life ward because that will go straight on Alistair. I like that. And I can put that in a tactic slot, I think. Win your rock armor looks strange. Okay, there you go. Because we currently got healer. But customized. I reckon I can... Because I've started... She's running through my fucking Lyrium potion. So I've just started like being like, don't do that. Um, I'll just manually do it. But if we go ally... Or maybe just specifically... No, just ally with health that's maybe like... 50%? Mm, When does she do heal? Ally with health under 25%. I feel like that's not close. That's too late. People die so quickly. So I'm going to do that. And then maybe ally. Mm. Regeneration when their health is under 90 is really interesting. Is that, is that truly necessary? Let's say if um, the health is like 50%, we'll use um, Life Ward. And then if the ally's health dips to like 25%, I will put it back to 25%. So we'll put Life Ward so they'll get healed. I don't know if that'll... You know what? We'll see how that goes, but it, it might end up just, like, conflicting. It might end up conflicting, but who, who knows? You would like something? Dwarf, uh, we know that tactics is not my strong suit, is it? Right, let's have a chat to this dude. So this is a good idea for us to revisit some previous locations as well, because new characters will appear here that were not here before. What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? Uh, for example, like Blackstone and Regulars. It doesn't always just pop up on the world map. I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone and Regulars. Oh? What was this about? I heard you stole supplies from the guild. I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. Okay. Well, I mean, you're just gonna... You're just gonna die. I hope you're okay with that. I hope you've made peace with the fact that you're just going to die. I shall do it. Make a Stan got stunned. Oh, decapitated. Who's that? Oh, I'm getting helped out by a Templar. Hey, Templar helped me out. Yes. Guild supplies belonging to the Blackstone Irregulars. Nice. Oh, no shit. Yeah, find the remaining deserters and deal with them. So there's Laysen and Denerim and Tornus in the Frostback Mountains. There's a couple to find. Now I'm interested in what's going to be found in here, because this is where Waylon told us to go. I wonder if it'll be a trap. Disgruntled patron, shady patron, Lorana. Ha, water down ale, damp beds, rickety stools. Why do I even bother? What's the innkeeper's quest for? Oh, for the urn of sacred ashes. Interesting. We know that the village of Haven that has popped up on the map is where we should go, but we can talk to the innkeeper as well. Yes. Oh, and you <laughs> Oh, yes, another widow to give a non-personalized letter to. <clears throat> I have a letter for you from the Blackstone Irregulars. It was definitely personalized. We just forgot to write names in there. All right. 
Let me take a look. I feared this day would come. And off she goes. I'm really good at delivering bad news. Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Have you seen any suspicious activity around your inn? Of course not. Why do you ask? Have you seen any knights from Redcliffe? No, no, I, I haven't seen any knights. You seem nervous. <laughs> Why would I be nervous? Listen, the person you're looking for isn't here. You should be on your way as soon as possible. Ooh. Are you in some trouble? You can trust me. They're watching me. I can't speak openly. Don't! Don't look around and keep your voice down. They're looking for anyone asking for this brother Genitivi. They told me to act like nothing's wrong and just deny ever having seen the brother or the knights. Dude, I really like that we've gone here and, and checked this out anyway instead of going right to Haven. I really also like the detail in the dialogue that it's like... Because a lot of games don't do this um, and it breaks immersion, but there's subtle details in this game I really like. The fact that my character actually has a scripted animation to go and look off to the side and my and my guy quickly goes like, he's like, don't, don't look, you know. But there's a lot of times where you'll be in dialogue like this in RPGs where they'll be talking about stuff and it just doesn't match the actions that are taking place in the dialogue screen. I really like the animations that take place in, and it's in Dragon Age specifically. There's a lot of just static looking at people in Knights of the Old Republic and in Mass Effect, but Dragon Age has a much more lively engagement in the dialogue screen. Sometimes it, you'll have all of your party there with you looking uh, and it'll, you'll have unique interactions with your, your dogs doing shit in the back and it'll pop up with you. And like Dragon Age are like just really appeals to me in so many, so many ways like that in, in its details. I like it. I'm gonna help this, I'm gonna help this dude out. Who are these people watching you? I don't know. You should be on your guard and leave quickly. I don't know what happened to the knights, but I doubt it was anything good. I promise this will be sorted out soon. Goodbye, and make her turn his gaze on you. Okay, well, it looks like someone's going to try and kill me, and I'll just help Sten. This is... Sten doesn't really understand, like, personal space. Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Do you know anything more about the men threatening you? No, I told you everything I know. Please stop bringing it up. I don't want them to know I said anything. Just wondering if I can go back to the option of, oh, there he is. The shady patron is gone. The shady patron is gone because he's shady and he's outside and he's going to try and kill me. Imagine trying to kill this group. This is going to be great. Actually, I wonder... What's Liliana's tactics looking like? Cause she got some stuff in here, but what I reckon is cause, cause we've given her, cause we've leveled her up and she also has Song of Courage. So the Song of Courage and Song of Valor. And these are really cool. These like bard things. An epic song of the party's exploits, granting them bonuses to attack, damage, and critical chance. The size of the bonuses are affected by the bard's cunning and the bard can only sing one song at a time. And we've got Song of Valor, uh, sings an ancient tale of valorous heroes, granting the bonus uh, party bonuses to mana or stamina regeneration at a rate affected by the bard's cunning. So both of these are really good. I think Song of Valor is a is a great one to have too, because stamina and mana is very important. So you can do distraction, and then activate Song of Valor, and then just start singing. So I guess you only have one available at a time. Song of Courage. We have much to do. All right, let's see. Oh, it's just, wow, straight up. Cultists, okay. Interesting, cultist leader. And this Templar is gonna help us out again. <laughs> All right, I wanna, I wanna have Liliana give us a, give us a Song of Courage, will you? And she, and she's shooting. You tried. I shall do it. Fuck him up. Oh, 
I'm really liking these different um, these different party setups that I, I can have. I think I'm I might even be able to get to a point where I, I might not have to rely so heavily on um, having a, a healer like win in the party and I can have Morrigan be more of an attacking mage, ranged fighter who can who's also a support and then Sten just fucking people up. But you know, Sten and Alistair are the two that I would probably like I'd have like one warrior at a time, one mage, one rogue sort of thing. Like that feels that feels nice to me. But I am very sort of um, attached to the Morrigan Alistair win as you say. aesthetic well. <laughs> as well. Ceremonial armor for minus three armor. Wonderful. The rampant Mabari of Ferelden appears absolutely everywhere on this armor, embossed on the pauldrons, etched into the cuirass, stamped on the leather. Nobody could doubt where it comes from, at least. When equipped in a set with ceremonial armored gloves and boots, the character has a greater chance of deflecting missile attacks. I like that it describes its set bonuses. That's cool. Um, well, they tried. And failed. Make her rest the souls of all. Templar and mage, who gave their lives defending the circle. May they find peace at last. I reckon Kester will be the one to take us across to the circle tower. Let's chat to this guy now. We can tell him that he's got nothing to worry about anymore. You, you dealt with them. Oh, Maker, I thought this nightmare would never end. Thank you so much. They said they'd kill my wife and son if I said anything about them. Do you know who they were? They're trying to stop me from finding Andraste's ashes. Andraste's ashes? The, the legend. Make us breath. Well, I probably shouldn't ask. I'm just an innkeeper trying to make his way through life. Now, some things I don't need to know. Thank you again. You'll always be welcome here. I do just be an innocent innkeep. Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Excellent. We have quite a fine selection at the Spoiled Princess. Nice. People really do just be only stocking, like, people do only just be stocking the one injury kit. I'm like, god damn. I will make my own. Toxin extract. How many are we rock under the toxin e extract at this point? Six. I need so much more. There must be a spot that I can just literally just get it easily, but I've just been buying one each from everyone that I can see. All right, that's done. Where does that Templar even come from? He's not even here anymore. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? Gregor came by, said I could have Lissy back. He seemed sad and tired. He got his boat back. Off we go then. Take me to the tower. I want to see what I can buy from the merchant again to see if he's got toxin extract because that's a job that I've got to do. And Irving's back here. So that's another reason to come back. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Hope you got some sleep there, bud, because those bags be heavy on your eyes. You've already done much for the Circle. Now you must see to your duty as a Grey Warden. Wonderful. I wish you well. Well, what I'm going to do quickly is, because I haven't stolen from you before, Irving, is I'm going to steal from you. Oh, he didn't like that. So I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> No, I failed. None shall see me. None shall see me. Stealing success. What do we get? An expert frost rune for three cold damage. Wonderful. Thank you, Irving. You really killed all those abominations. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Uh, you got any? You got any fucking toxin extracts, bro? You got two of them. Love it. <laughs> These tomes that give us free skill points, I can see why they're so expensive. But god damn it, why are they gotta be so expensive? You know? Why that? Why you gotta do that to me? Make making me sad like that. 
All right. Thank you. Tell someone to fix these goddamn paintings. They're crooked, and there's still so many dead bodies around. Dialogue? Aren't you chilly, Sten? Chilly. I don't know this word. It's much warmer where you're from, isn't it? Don't you feel cold? I suppose. I don't imagine we can find a cloak in your size, can we? Hmm. What? Nothing. Nothing. Don't mind me. Now I wonder where I could get a skein of good wool yarn. He's gonna knit Sten a cloak. Um... Isn't it funny that, like, we call, like, this, this, the spicy food chili, but then we use the word chill and chili as a, uh, as a cold term? Isn't that interesting? I'm not familiar with the word chili. Ah, well, it's a hot food, but it also, if you're cold, <laughs> you are chili. Hmm. This language confuses me. It makes no sense. The English language will forever remain an enigma. I almost went the wrong way once again. All right, we're going to Soldier's Pass now. To Soldier's Pass. Concentrate like we practiced. Now, fire! Oh shit, hang on. Okay, so they're our friends. These are our enemies. Okay. Mage and his two apprentices on a bunch of- Oh yeah, they're a bunch of darkspawn. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Protect the mages! Actually, they probably- uh, Actually, they're fine. They don't need protection. You see that shit? Holy shit! They're fine! Oh my god, they're earthquaking. Is friendly fire possible? Are they gonna fuck me up too? Oh! Okay, I don't think Earthquake is affecting us, which is nice. Oh my god. Guys, you didn't even need our help. Do you see what you guys have done? Decimated. All right, dude. These guys were fine. We could have just, we could have just spectated that. I shall do it. If we heed the master's teachings, we'll be safe. Is it true? Is this the great blight? I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. They're young. But capable enough, as you saw. Ah, oh, I'm like, I know this voice. Campbell. Colonel. What are you doing as a mage? Turn the game console off right now. I'm not supposed to be in this game. Alright, so let us move on. We'll let Campbell be his, uh... Perfect mage <laughs> self. <laughs> Colonel, you're learning magic. Who this? Hello, Felix. I'm at Soldier's Pass now. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into, but we'll see how we go. Soldier's, Soldier's Peak and Soldier's Pass. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Uh, you asked me to find your mule. <laughs> Just what are you doing out here? Oh, waiting for my helper to find the damn mule, of course. Freezing! Oh, oh, I suppose you meant <laughs> why am I out here? As in this part of the country. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur, at your service. Felix the Gross Boy. Felix the Gross Boy. Let's go. I am Mapo. Pleased to meet you. Felix the Gross Boy. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Neither. Oh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. 
I don't suppose you'd consider helping a fellow out? Help a fellow out? How? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? Excuse me? A control rod for a golem? Mmm. I have dabbled in the art of shape-shifting into a golem when I was in the dream time, you know? And I shouldn't even be there, because I'm a dwarf and I don't dream, but I'm a magical dwarf, and I'm the chosen one, so I get to go to, into the Fade. And I was a dwarf, a uh, uh, golem, I'll have you know. A control rod for a golem. That's cool, because that ties into my cool little Orzammar lore of the golems down there. Come. All right, cool. What does a control rod do? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one. Yes? Do I get my own personal golem? Because I'll have it. What's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. Oh. It's supposed to be down in a village down south waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely. Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. How do I know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> How much do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. I think I could use it, yes. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Do Lufgar, and if it doesn't? Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Do Lufgar. The golem in Honleith. Okay, new town. You have acquired a control rod from a merchant. According to his tale, the rod will activate a golem in the remote village of Honleith in the southwest of Ferelden. You should journey there to see if his story rings true. Cool. Now, is this the party that I want to take with me? I kind of want to. I kind of want to try some new people out. And Sten's got some fancy pants, new armor, and Leliana's looking great as a as a bardish archer. I kind of want to fuck with a new new group for a little for a little period of time. So this will be this will be good. Uh, so I guess we can just leave now because this is just one area. So we go. Then we continue on our way. Oh, to Honleith. Okay, so we go down there. Remote village where an old golem supposedly lies waiting to be claimed. Okay. What I like about traveling on the world map like this is I like that when you... I like that it has an actual travel. Like, we don't just pop and appear there. We're actually traveling through the map realistically. So it allows you to kind of naturally be like, oh, well, this place is on the way. So I'll go have a look if there's anything new here, you know? And I, I, I really like that about traveling through this game that you're like, oh, I'm on the way to Denerim, but all this stuff is on the way. So we'll hit this up instead of just teleporting straight to to Denerim, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. So it's cool for us to, to do this. So I'll check out if there's anything new here, potentially some some quests or anything. Uh, the Chanter is here, and we do have a Chanter's board mission to return to. That might be it. And then I might check out the castle, and then we'll head to this Honleith village. All right, we handed in a 
Chantry board quest, and then we delivered another personalized letter to another widow, uh, and we are moving on our way to Hondleith. Let's go. Let's head to the next place. Village of Hondleith. All right. Now, there's apparently... Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Great. <laughs> Dark spawn. You tried, fools, but you can't defeat me. They're still raging from the grave. Oh god, okay, so this town is like in the middle of a dark spawn attack. Very well. Very well. We obviously have to fight very differently now because I don't have a Templar. Sten does have Sten does have the ability to uh, to taunt. He just doesn't have it in his tactics, does he? Because uh, he's a scrapper. What if defender? I can change him to, and then he's got a bunch of this. Let's do that. Let's change you to a defender, so he can he can taunt at the very least. What are you doing? You've got Song of Valor active. Cool. Ow. You can run, but you will not survive. Look at me doing my best backstabbing work right now. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone's really dead, but there were at least some survivors that uh, ran away. Looks like I hear the screams of people in the distance, so. And then, <laughs> yeah, it's always a good. That's always, yep, that's always a good omen when you're just strolling on into town. You just see the hanging bodies from the. Uh, <laughs> hanging bodies there. Look at that massive ass windmill. And that tower's been destroyed. All right, we're, we're, we're doing great, team. This is a, a beautiful town. Olaf's chest. Don't know who Olaf is. Let's loot his chest straight away. Olaf. It is key. Okay, never mind. i got to find this Olaf and convince him to allow me access to his, all of his belongings. I like that the tower isn't just destroyed with no evidence of where the tower is. It's like you can see that it's all just been crushed and fallen down here. That's cool. Oh, shit. Oh, oh there's the golem. The golem's in the middle of town. Stan, why aren't you taunting, my guy? My dog helping me out. With the group stun instead. I like Liliana just being like, you should you should run. You should run while you can. Golem doesn't look like the golem that I was like transforming into though. It looks different. Oh. Definitely looks like a, a different type of golem. No, not the villager. Olaf? Oh, is it <laughs> is it actually? <laughs> Dried blood clings to this heavy iron key you found at Honleith tucked into the pocket of a dead villager. What's the bet that it's for that chest? Olaf. I guess it doesn't even bother naming him though. I just know that they're 
Golem is obviously the uh, objective, so I'm just checking the place out first. A basket of bird seed. It has begun. Okay, why are we looking at a basket of bird seed? This basket is almost empty. Most of the bird seed teams were scattered about to attract the birds. Okay. Shale. Shale? Okay, shale. The golem has a name. A note from Honleith Village Council. Mistress Matilda, the council has unanimously agreed to put you in charge of the decorations for Honleith's upcoming harvest festival. We all adored what you did with the village for the winter solstice. As usual, the statue must be adorned with items that capture the essence of the season. Iris, Iris kindly offered the use of her wide-brimmed straw hat with the berries and daisies and would love to see it on the statue. Father Goodman will also donate some of his baby pumpkins. We think of garland. We think a garland of small pumpkins and ribbons draped about the statue's shoulders would be lovely. Whatever you decide will be splendid, I'm sure. And we are all looking forward to it. Councilman Murray. This poor golem. Has it been like alive? This Is it like alive, but like in a, in a state of like just paralysis? Like it's, it's constantly self-aware or when it's inactive is it like sleepy time is it in a coma you know that's the real question i guess we'll find out once we wake it up i thought it was going to be like one of the golems that we transformed into yeah nice not his prized cheese knife uh i thought it was going to be like one that we would like wake up and you'd be able to like summon it similar to maybe like the the dog and you can have it do like those abilities with the the golem I guess the dog is a party member, isn't it? I forget that the dog is an actual party member. So it might operate in the same way, actually. That would be really neat, having a golem party member. Because I I liked my time as a, uh, as a transformed golem. A prized cheese knife. So this comes with plus one armor penetration and some rune slots. Interesting. The inscription on the blade reads, For Ola, finally, a blade that's up to the challenge of one of your fine, firm cheeses. And a clear lightning crystal. Okay. Nice. I got a cheese knife. Cheese and crackers, Gromit. I got the finest cheese knife. All right, let's, uh, let's get the attention of this golem by using our little rod, shall we? Continue. Oh. The statue appears to be inert. This is a golem, I believe. Damaged, perhaps beyond repair. There may be a way to reactivate it, though that is not necessarily wise. On closer inspection, it appears to be a golem like those few that remain in Orzammar, but obviously damaged and corroded by inactivity. Maybe I just already forgot what the golem in the fade looked like, because for some reason I thought this looked different. Okay, so we can say Duel of Gar to activate the golem. What if this ends up just being a fight? I'm hoping that we can... I'm hoping that I can recruit a golem to my team. Otherwise, if this is going to be a fight, I'm going to be like, no. Oh, nothing happens. Either the rod is not working or the code word is incorrect. Damn it. Okay. The golem is unresponsive to the control rod and command words you acquired from Felix. Perhaps there are still survivors in the village who could shed some light on the golem's current state. Damn it. Okay. Well, that didn't work out, did it? Golem, please. Let's go inside Willem's cellar. It would make sense for it to be a party member, I reckon. Strange crystal cluster. You know what? I think these crystals must might be for it as well. We're getting a, a lot of them all of a sudden. And it did look like it had crystals on it. So I want to I want to take a educated guess and say that we're going to have oh god, uh, a golem party member, which is awesome. But now I have to give up someone else for a golem party member. So the DLC gives you Okay, so the DLC be like Here's another party member for you. Have fun. 
Oh god, well I was looking for survivors. The DLC story stuff is really cool actually. There is a lot of them in here. Actually, I realized that I gave uh, Liliana... Yeah, she's almost used them all anyway. She had a lot of fire bolts and I just equipped them to her. So she's just been doing fire bolts this whole time, but she's going to run out and just use her normal bolts soon. But we've also got ice and fire arrows with the fox's bow, uh, which she could also change to. It's not as good as the crossbow, but, you know, what can you do? We can just really be in melee range. She's doing great. Win? Get the fuck out of there. You get the get the fuck out of there. Win. What is it up with your face? Stan, you should be you should be doing more. Don't crash my game. Oh. I'm like, don't crash my game in the middle of combat. <laughs> of course you will. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's see if we crash this time. I've at least quick saved beforehand, so that's nice. <laughs> Very well. I didn't have to head all the way back to this village, no sir. As you say, so I, I quick save so often. All right, what's going on in here? Oh God, uh, herlock attack! How could I have ever predicted this? There's too many of them. What are we going to do? Whedon just really enjoying being a close ranged fighter. I guess I could set. I need to set. It's ranged, don't I? Okay, didn't crash in combat this time, that's nice. Very well. Charred corpse with the elf fruit. It shall be done. It has begun. Ooh, this place. Another chest. Splint mail boots. Can you I think this is medium armor though, isn't it? Medium boots with 18 strength, so win. You are still going to be bootless, but you would probably want light armor anyway. Lesson learned, we quick save. Wilhelm's special brew. A gift. This dark colored ale gives off a thick oaky smell. Swirling at the tankard, you t notice it take on an unexpected glow. Cool. Nice little gift there. Oh, the axe in the head. So brutal. You getting drunk in here, boys? In the brewery? Oh shit. Get this emissary out of here. Stunned. Your move is cancelled. <laughs> Wynn's doing her best to stay ranged. See, look at her go. <laughs> Wynn's like, yep, look at me, guys. Oh, there's people. They took prisoners. That's interesting. Liliana, you are in trouble. Um, wouldn't expect them to take prisoners for some reason. Oh, you got stunned. I was like, why can't you heal Liliana? Okay. 
That's fine, she'll just die, I suppose. Okay. It shall be done. They kept prisoners. Oh, and they're changing. They're changing outfits. It has begun. You know what happens when the game does changing outfits? It say. means the game is glitching, and it's going to fucking crash. A decades-old letter. A decades-old letter. Madam, I can assure you that the Circle of Magi is not a sacrilegious institution, and, and that, indeed, we operate under the supervision of the Chantry. It would make our investigation of your husband's death much easier if you would simply cooperate with us. I am disappointed to hear that you sold the Golem's activation rod. I understand both it and your husband were of invaluable aid to King Marek during the war against Olay. Without the rod, we cannot discern whether Willem's Golem was responsible for his murder. Interesting. The golem will simply have to remain where it is unless the villagers can find a means to destroy it. Our condolences to you and your son for your loss. I imagine it is of little consolation to you, but your husband is much admired here and will be missed. Make it keep you. First Enchanter Arlen. Decades old. Hello, villagers, with your changing clothes. We're going to ignore that. Hopefully my game doesn't crash. By the maker, we're saved. You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us. I wasn't sent by anyone. So we could have just starved down here? The ban gave up on us? <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, I'm looking for whoever owned that statue outside. The statue outside? <laughs> why would... Oh, I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. That was your barrier. Okay. Interesting. What's going on here? That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance. Killed your father? What do you mean? I certainly didn't just read a letter about this. My father's name was Wilhelm, mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him and Shale standing over him, just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Shale? I'm curious about this place, actually. Where are we? This was my father's laboratory, beneath his tower. Or it was, anyhow. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Mm. How do you even know she's still alive? I don't, it's true. I'm terrified that something's happened to her and she's lying in there, injured. I can't leave here until I know for certain. Surely you can understand that. What killed this man who went after her? There are defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier, I, I had the key for that, but the rest of it, well, we never came down here. Ever. Okay. I want to know how to activate that golem. I'll save us, see if I can find her. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. He thinks. Why won't she come back, or at least yell out? Matthias. I don't understand! 
I want to know how to activate the golem. How to activate it? We just used the control rod and the code phrase. Or did Mother give them the wrong one? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She said she never wanted to see Shale activated again. Bring back Amelia and I'll gladly tell you the proper phrase if you really want it. True. <laughs> Intimidate. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the defences? Not really. We never came down here after my father died. My mother was too frightened. The barrier was supposed to keep most people out, and those who got past it dealt with whatever lies ahead. I can only imagine what my father was doing that he needed to be so careful. I'm not sure I want to know. Okay. What do you remember about the golem? Almost nothing. It used to be bigger, I think. Aside from that, it was just a walking statue. Father said it talked, but I never heard it. Mother tried to have it destroyed, but no luck. I think that's when she sold the rod, but no one ever came to claim it. Tell me more about your father, Wilhelm. I was so young when he died, I hardly remember. All I know is he was a fine mage and a healer. What he needed this laboratory for, or why the circle of mage I let him be out here, I honestly have no idea. Okay. I'll see if I can reach her. Please hurry! Okay, so quest has been updated. Deep in the cellars of a uh, mage's ruined tower, a handful of villagers have survived the Darkspawn onslaught, taking refuge behind the tower's magical defenses. One of the survivors is Matthias, son of the tower's original owner. Matthias begs you to rescue his daughter, Amalia, who ran deeper into the cellars and is now trapped behind further unknown dangers and enchantments. You have agreed to find her and return her safely to her father. Okay. Good shit. Magic barriers. So I guess we're in order to get access to this lovely golem, we must go deeper into the tower. Oh look, my first auto save in such a long time. Wonderful. Oh, it looks great down here. Very well. Fractured stone. Alright. Well, she's, uh, is that her? Is that, it looks like it, I don't know, it looks like it could be a dude. It looks like it's an Ash Warrior. Okay, well, I mean, look, it's not looking likely once the start of sh Shades and Abominations start tuning into the fight. I don't think she's alive. But we'll look for her, I guess. Shall be done. Now we're going to battle. Nice. Dust Wraith. Remarkable green stone. Which is a gift and harvest festival ring. Oh, two strength, two dex, plus four attack. It's been a while since I've had a new ring. What have I got? Cold resistance? Yeah, give me that. Give me that ring. <laughs> give me that ring. Let's give someone else some cold resistance. I'll just give you a ring. Clear fire crystal. Nice. Entry kit. A buke. The Journal of Enchanter Wilhelm. 13 Pluitanus. The interrogation of the demon is going well and is rather fascinating, provided that what we are saying is true. I've sent all my research so far to First Enchanter Arden, and while he is concerned about my safety, he does not think there is a reason to stop just yet. All I hope is that the Templars do not discover what I'm doing. How will we ever find another way to deal with the demonic possession if the Chantry does not let us research it? 20 Luviesta. Young Matthias nearly wandered down here again today, and this time I forgot to leave the barrier up. I believe I will key the defenses to ignore anyone of my blood. Okay, so the defenses should not affect um, who we're looking for. Amalia. I would rather have the boy stumble into the laboratory than have him killed by my forgetfulness. Poor lad, all he wants is to know why his father spends so much time beneath the tower. I'll spend more time with him soon, I swear it. 28 Luviesta. Shale is acting strangely. I wonder if I should discontinue my experiments upon it. I am so near a breakthrough, I'm certain. Uh, perhaps it is best if I focus on the demon. So doing experiments upon Shale. So maybe Shale was like, I don't wish to be experimented upon anymore. 
and rebelled. To Matronalis, the demon almost managed to get away again. Tricky, I shall have to be more careful. Young Eamon sent a letter asking me to return to Redcliffe. I shall have to consider it soon. The young Eamon, because it's been decades. Uh, Matronalis, could it be? What an intriguing discovery, especially considering that the demon was attempting to keep me from it at all costs. Or did it lead me to that information by seeming to deny it from me? I must discover the truth. And 19 Umbralia, I think it is time to dismiss this demon, it is too dangerous for me to continue holding it, and I cannot discount the possibility that it is having some influence over the golem, or is it my experiments? I will try to deactivate Shale for the time being and then deal with the demon once and for all, let it end here. And there are no further entries, interesting, so there might have been some demonic influence at hand there. With the golem, there you go, okay. So many crystals to obtain, too. So, oh, so there's probably gonna be a fucking. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Don't cats like to be in trees? Ha. Huh. Oh, look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Demon cat. Demon cat. We? Who is we? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. That cat finds me distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. <laughs> hmm, I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. Oh, <laughs> talking cat, dude. Uh, that's not really a cat, is it? Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Right, what are you really? I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend. Well, you are just a stranger. So did a cat cat into the fade in the in the dream time and get possessed by a demon? Which is really which is really interesting actually that if that's actually what's happened and a demon has just possessed a, a cat um because they also dream, it opens up a whole realm of possibilities. Not just like, oh yeah, just people fight. Uh, sorry, people dream and um get possessed by by demons and they try and fight against it but like animals as well and now it becomes a talking cat what have you done to her i have done nothing i am all but powerless the mage made sure of that didn't he i cannot leave this chamber no amalia found me after decades of isolation her company is welcome <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. I find it really interesting that like both the DLCs thing so far is dealing with a demon in different varieties that just are like, please get me out of here, I wish to be free. <laughs> Let you have the girl, you mean possess her. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Uh, and another lie persuasion. Last time we lied, when we looked to Sophie Dryden, uh, she was like, nah, I see through your lies. I think our persuasion needs to be higher to maybe sway a demon. Shall we try lie once again? I'll free you and you can have the girl. I think we should just fight a demon cat, don't you? Which is so weird. I do not make deals with demon cats. Yes, it's wrong. But Kitty wants it. Then you reject my proposal?
Yes, I'm taking the girl to her father right now. No, Kitty! <laughs> you will not take the child from me. She shall be mine forever. Yeah, see? This is what you're dealing with, Amalia. Oh shit, she just straight up went for the possession immediately. Oh god. Fuck. Titties, again. Well, at least, you know, Win disapproves, Sten approves. Why does Win disapprove of us f killing a demon? I'm so confused, Win. Win disapproves of what? You literally, f we literally fought so many demons in the Circle Tower. That characterization makes zero sense. Um, well, it's a good thing that Kitty uh, is not very clever and has not decided to keep the child in that form because then we'd have to go into the Fade, right? And battle it in, in the Fade instead. Decided to just reveal her true form. Oh, that'll get killed soon. My game's gonna crash again? Cool. Nice. <laughs> you can just feel when the game is gonna crash because everything's fucking up with the textures. I love it. I mean you've never climbed a tree. Oh look, someone's come to play. Okay, let's let's do this again. I'm not here to play games. I'm here to kill this cat. Oh well. I suppose Kitty and I will just have fun on our own till someone more interesting comes along. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. What the hell is going on in the back here, though? I love that. It's like, sure, let's leave. You can bring the cat. <laughs> we have to go, Amalia. Matthias is waiting. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. <laughs> I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. Step away from that creature, Amalia. Hurry. No, leave me alone, Kitty! Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. I'm not leaving without the girl. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. I don't make deals with your kind. No, Kitty! <laughs> Here we go. You will not take the child from me. Da, 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 da. And the child transforms into a desire demon. Love it. Okay, let's try this again. Wind disapproves for some reason. Weirdest thing. Wind disapproves of us killing the demon. Sure, let's give the demon a chance at life, shall we? All right, wind's being ranged, which is nice. That's what we want. She kind of cold at me, I can't believe her. And I'm dead, oh shit. Damn. Fucked me up, good. Okay. Love that for me. Get up. Oh, my dog's down too. I think my dog goes down automatically when I go down. I think. I'm not sure. Direct me. Not ah! 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 All of the backstabs to wins. Sten suffering from his mind prison. Very well. Um, did we kill the child? Does the child die this way? Maybe that's why Wind disapproves. Maybe that's why Wind disapproves, because it takes over the child and then the child transforms into the demon, and we don't get to unfortunately save the child that way. Oh, this is mm, this is an interesting dilemma. I can see why Sten approves of that and Wind disapproves with that context in mind. I was assuming that we'd have ch the child back after killing the demon. But that's not how that works, is it? So how do we get this to work then? There must be a way to save the child, right? The Helm of Honleith. 
situated on the edge of the Kolkari Wilds, the remote village of Honleith has long had to defend itself from marauders of all sorts. Cool, and a court of shattered dreams. Um. Hmm. Is there a way to save the child? And what is the deal with this? We can't interact with this anymore. Oh, do take fire damage. We can't interact with this, but when we were looking at it from a distance, it was highlighted. So I'm curious. Are we able to do something about this? It might have something to do with deactivating the defenses or with, by keeping the demon alive. Change the direction of fire to get it to like light everything up and then go to there. Hmm. Should I I feel like we should try and save the child then if that's an if that's an option, right? Otherwise we're just like Hmm. Straight to the point, kill the demon, move on. Otherwise it's letting the demon get what it wants. I am I'm I'm interested. I'm interested to see how this can turn out in a in another outcome. I am I am curious. So let's load this. Let's see. Cuz yeah, look, floor tiles that can be interacted with while the cat is still alive, but you can't interact with it after the fight. Oh look, someone's come to play. You Anyway, So let's see. If you're not going hmm, I would not suggest leaving. Talking is simple enough. Nothing you say will convince him all it seems. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let mortals often allow themselves to be blinded by hope. They see what they wish to see. If the father hopes to see his Amalia alive and unharmed, perhaps he will. Shall we try and lie? Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. We've done a persuade, but also a lie. Unharmed, but held captive by a demon that has taken the form of a cat. The demon is restrained by the mechanisms Willem placed in the room so long ago and has asked for your help to free it. You have agreed to free the demon and allow it to possess Amalia, of which nobody has a disapproval or an approval on at the moment, but we did lie. Um, hopefully this means that we can save Amalia and then kill the cat. I am still trapped. What is the matter? <laughs> Jim Ryan said you die. I love Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. Alright, so we're gonna free you, cat, but we're gonna take Amalia away first. We're just gonna put her behind the barrier. Okay, so we can interact with floor tiles. And catch on fire constantly. I see. Very well. As you say. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? So it seems to me that we could, what we might have to do, I was wondering if we had to light all of them up, but it seems we, we might just have to con just connect it to the end. Right, I'm going to walk all the people over here and say, hold, stop moving. So stop going over the fire, please. I shall do it. Oh, it, <laughs> it auto saves. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. So I'd free you. I didn't say I'd let you live. <laughs> and where will you go after this? Amalia's all yours. Keep your hands off the girl. How do we do it without with to save the girl's life? Is it? It's got to be possible. You said I'd free you didn't say I'd let you live. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! And then she'll take the girl again? Kitty! 
You're scaring me. I won't let you inside me. I won't. Yes. Aha. Okay, cool. So she transforms from cat. Okay, cool. Okay. Good. Leliana and Wynne approve, but no Sten disapproval. There you go. So doing the actual puzzle, lying to the demon, allows Amalia to get away. Cool. Much better outcome. Taste your fear, mortal. Oh shit, you guys are getting fucked up by this demon. You guys are getting fucked up by this demon. I went straight for the straight for the people that are literally supposed to be at, at range. Yep, okay. Awesome. This is going so much worse. Okay, win. Can we pop a can we pop a group heal in chat, please? So everyone can live. So you don't die of flames, and then I'm gonna need you to have a lyrium potion, please. I'm going to need you to revive Liliana. Cool. If you can get a heal, please. That'd be good. Even the can be this is going well. Oh, my guy's dead. I tried healing, but he's dead. Okay. Got to wait for regen to kick back in. So this is going to be great. Immediately. We'll just focus on Sten then. Yes, of course. As you wish. Oh, Sten is too busy being scared. That's good. You will not win. Push them back. Nice. <sighs> Wonderful. Serves me right for not paying attention. Yeah, that <laughs> serves me right for not paying attention. <laughs> True. True. Okay. Love it. All right. Carrying some injuries right now. Um, plus two magic, but we can give you plus three willpower mental resistance. That will keep your, keep your magic belt on. There you go. Perfect. Look at us go. We freed the child. Much better. The way it was meant to be. Instead of us being careless and just attacking the demon straight away. Oh, everyone's on hold. Hello, everybody. I need help. Thanks, everybody. Lovely. Thank you, team. be praised that's one of one of my problems with Leliana in combat is uh, she just do be spouting that stuff yes Amalia you did it you freed her thank you so much I'm sorry I ran away daddy I was so scared it's all right butterfly you're safe now all the bad creatures are gone the phrase to activate shale is duel and hard if you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Dulan Han. Okay. It was an incorrect phrase. There you go. All right. The glowing crystal that was on this uh, thing is all. Very well. Large, clear, natural crystal. Okay. Let's go wake up Shale and find out what happened. Did the golem react appropriately to being experimented on? It was like, no more. Or was it some demonic influence? Let's go and find out. Wynn and Shale will get along well, because Wynn's always got her rock armor on. 
Doolin Han. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. Uh-huh. Okay, just speaks like just standard. Okay. How do you know I'm not a mage? I could be a dwarven mage. I fit through sheer force of will. Uh, hello to you too. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, mm. I have no idea how long, many, many years. Mm. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Wow. So there you go. I was like, is it like a paralysis where it's like actively aware that it's like frozen? Or is it just asleep? And that's that is like I could could not imagine like decades of just maybe oh terrible. Not all of them, no. Some got away then. How unfortunate. Huh. Um, you didn't care for them, I take it. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after thirty years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Do you have a name? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must huh you want to destroy the the control rod so you can be free is something wrong i see the control rod yet i feel go on order me to do something Ooh, it's different um all right walk over there and uh nothing i feel nothing i feel no compulsion to carry out its command I suppose this means the rod is broken. Shouldn't you be happy about that? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will. Yes, it is simply what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Um, I hadn't given it much thought. I see. <laughs> Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Um... Are you going to keep calling me it? Yes. Very likely. Okay. You killed your former master. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! <laughs> I notice you don't call him it. Yes. I'm just funny that way. Okay. How do I know you can be trusted? I have no idea. How does it trust anything else without a control rod? Good point. They haven't killed it yet. I consider this a good sign. Hmm. What do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? You're about to become Dwarf's best friend. <laughs> I'm just be like, Golem smash. You're welcome to come with me. I will follow it about then. For now. 
I am called Shale, by the way. Cool. Is that your name or what you're made of? It would rather I was called Flint. Pebbles. How about rubble? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. There you go. Okay. Rock in a hard place. Um, I would like to try Washington. I would like to try out this golem. Yes. Yes. Pigeon crap. Pigeon crap. Yes. Pigeon crap. So good. Yes. Okay. Nice. Shale disapproves of existing. What can I say? I have a heart of stone. The golems of Orzammar once made up the vanguard of the dwarven army, holding back the tides of darkspawn that flooded out of the deep roads. But the art of making them was lost, and many of them succumbed to wear and damage in battle. Shale has no memories either of the time spent fighting in the deep roads or of coming to Honleith, only a few spotty and bitter recollections of its last master. Mapo unearthed Shale's control rod and awakened it, adding a bitter malfunctioning golem to the menagerie of companions. Cool. Okay. Let's have a look in the inventory. It is the crystals. You can wear a belt, apparently. That, also, that is also in, quite interesting. Uh, let's see here. Um, we've got small ice, fire, natural, and lightning. They all require the same level of strength. Different stats attach to them. I've got other crystals available in my um, party chest. Converts all damage to niche damage or net damage to electricity. So plus 15% of whatever you choose. Two health, three gen, plus four attack, plus two dex. Melee crit chance, all weapon damage. Armor penetration, critical backstab damage. Nice, okay. I'm gonna go for the lightning one. How does this work? Okay, where does that... It doesn't look like... Oh, okay, it is actually... A large chipped spirit crystal. Oh, they're not showing up for some reason. Great. So there's also a large chip spirit crystal. Uh, crystal. So you can wield two crystals. Is it the? Is that the one on your back? It is the one on your back. Okay. Spirit resistance, or you can equip. Can you equip these? Ah, oh, hang on. Oh, one's a clothing item. Right. No shit. Okay. So there's. Small ones are the weapons, the large ones are the clothing. Okay, well, clothing. The, the shoulder piece, not the, yeah, armor. Spirit resistance, 30% nature and physical resistance, or electricity resistance, dodging attacks, plus two dex, and a uh, three defense, one strength. Okay, we'll go for this. I guess I don't know. That's cool that it changes the, the coloration on there. I really like that. That's awesome. Okay, we have a golem. <laughs> and I believe that is, uh, yeah, that's that completed as well. And unfortunately, I'm now an idiot because I seem to not be able to go back into Soldier's Peak. That premium content quest is going to be there for an eternity. Unless there's something that happens that allows us to go back in there. But with that one, we're going to bring this episode of dragon age origins to a close thank you so much for joining me today i've got a golem friend and i have skills as well so we're at 30 30 strength uh we've got warrior abilities shale's unique abilities is pulverizing blows slam and quake which we're familiar with from our time as a golem stone heart bellow stone roar rock mastery hurling a rock earth and grasp stone aura and inner reserves so it looks like we've got like a really good mix of um, support abilities uh, and also um, offensive abilities, which we will learn and use in the future. I'm really excited to have a golem in the party. That's really bizarre. A lot of fun, though. We'll have to check out more of Shale as we proceed with Dragon Age Origins next time. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you then.